For decades, the principle of breast diagnosis was based mainly on clinical examination and surgical biopsy. Nevertheless, the high precision of percutaneous needle biopsy has led to a steady decline in the number of surgical biopsies performed over the years. In fact, surgical guidelines recommend that a non-surgical diagnosis be possible in the vast majority of breast cancers, with a minimum standard of 90%. In practice, the imaging guide for percutaneous biopsy is quite simple. Ultrasound is used for visible and accessible lesions by this technique, providing real-time imaging and sampling. Stereotactic guidance is suitable for calcifications and lesions not seen on ultrasound. Basically, stereotaxy is a process that allows you to determine the location of an object of interest using a stereo pair of angled mammographic images. An initial review of some historical points gives us a perspective on the evolution of breast biopsy. The first stereotactic equipment for breast was developed in Sweden in the 70s. Almost two decades later, in the mid-90s, there was the introduction of stereotactic digital imaging and vacuum-assisted needles. Stereotactic breast biopsy has since become an important tool in early cancer diagnosis and in the reduction of breast cancer mortality. The stereotactic guidance is suitable for biopsy of masses, calcifications and some architectural distortions. Furthermore, it can be considered for therapeutic excision of B3 lesions. This last indication is going to increase significantly in the next few years. As limitations, note that some findings are very poorly defined and may not generate precise coordinates, hindering the targeting process. The dedicated prone table provides good access to the breast and patient motion is minimized. Also, the patient is not aware of the procedure making a vasovagal reaction less likely. Its limitations are its cost and the fact that it is a single-use equipment. Upright biopsy units are generally sold as an adjunct to conventional mammography equipment and can be used for both routine mammograms and interventional procedures. The main problem is that there is a relatively small workspace for the operator and that the patient can see the procedure with a slight increase in the risk of vasovagal reactions, a range between 1 and 5%. A quick overview of the usual stereotactic biopsy workflow. First, a scout, followed by the acquisition of the angled stereo pair and lesion targeting in both views in order to get the coordinates. After that, a pre-fire image, if a fire-forward device is used, sample X-ray and clip placement. Digital breast tomosynthesis, or DBT, can be used for practically the same indications as stereotaxy but also for distortions without 2D or sonographic correlation. With the DBT guide, what changes is that it uses the TOMO planes instead of a pair of angled stereo images to achieve the target, which means that it uses a direct Z. A single acquisition of DBT allows the visualization and access of the lesion, which implies less exposure, dose reduction, better time and tolerance of the patient. The direct Z implies an improvement in workflow, since it is no longer necessary to obtain additional angled views. Finally, as it was shown previously, the magnetic resonance, or 
MRI guided biopsy is indicated for MRI only lesions, which enhances findings and makes them visible only after contrast administration. These are the basics of the image guided breast interventions so far. But in the near future, this scenario may change with the introduction of the contrast mammography as another mammographic guidance. It will probably be feasible to access enhancing only lesions with both functional modalities CEM and MRI. The contrast enhanced mammography guided biopsy is a stereotactic procedure designed to access enhancing lesions that cannot be reliably sampled under ultrasound or mammographic guidance. As in a diagnostic contrast mammography, two images are displayed, one using conventional technique factors, like a standard 2D, plus a recombined image where contrast uptake is visible. The location of the target is determined by placing markers in the two angled stereo views. Among the main indications are suspicious enhancements that are not reliably identified by other morphological techniques. It is, or it will be, a more accessible and faster alternative to MRI guided biopsy. It has the same advantages as stereotactic guidance and can be limited in patients with a history of allergy to iodine-based contrast media and impaired renal function. The biopsy workflow is comparable to the standard stereotaxy workflow, with an additional contrast administration step two minutes before the first scout image acquisition. And that's the final picture for state-of-the-art image-guided breast interventions, whether for biopsy or excision purposes.